thanks for tuning back into HSH TV. Today's episode is all about creating the best landscape for you to embrace self-infusing at home. First, let's cover some basics. What is Empavelli? Peg Seta Copeland. Empavelli is a prescription medicine used to treat adults with a disease called paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, PNH. What is the most important information I should know about Empavelli? Empavelli is a medicine that can affect your immune system and can lower the ability of your immune system to fight infections. Empavelli may increase your chance of getting serious and life-threatening meningococcal infections that may quickly become life-threatening and cause death if not recognized and treated early. Empavelli may also increase the risk of getting serious infections caused by certain bacteria such as Streptococcus pneumoniae, Neisseria meningitidis, and Haemophilus influenza type B. Serious infections may quickly become life-threatening and cause death if not recognized and treated early. You must be vaccinated against these bacteria at least two weeks before your first dose of Empavelli if you have not already had these vaccines. I always say our home is a tangible part of the soul. So creating a calming and healing infusion space for yourself is key to integrating your medication into your home. Wherever you decide to set up your infusion, it's important to make sure the space feels calm, well lit, clean, and as comfortable as possible. If you're able, try and make your infusion space a place where you can embrace your routine uninterrupted. Now that may be easier for some than others, but when and if you're able, try it. No matter the space, you'll want a flat, dry, clean surface for your treatment materials with enough light to clearly see what you're doing. Now my rule of thumb is that comfort is just as important as function. And that's even more true when you're creating a treatment routine. Make sure you're checking in with yourself to figure out what you need to make your infusion space a place that you want to be in. Designing for calm can be totally different depending on who you are. We're all programmed in different ways. So it's really important for you to find out what makes you feel the most relaxed. Interview yourself to get to the heart of these answers and then incorporate that into your space, whether it's a candle, it's a piece of art that makes you smile, a comfy chair, a blanket, or a sentimental memento. Nature is calm. In my opinion, it can improve everyone's experience at home. Now, that may be tough if you're in the heart of a city, but even the tiniest bit helps. So. If you're in a position where you can't sit on a porch or by a window that overlooks a garden, I recommend cracking that window open just a tiny bit and turning on a playlist of whatever sounds are calming to you. I guarantee you there's a playlist out there that specializes in whatever you're looking for. Give it a listen and watch as your mood begins to shift. You could also start bringing the outdoors in by bringing home flowers or a plant. Super easy accessories that can help your body and soul settle down when you're self-infusing. Another way to go about encompassing calm into your infusion space is to create a collection of what you think you might need to be at your most comfortable. Apellus has actually created a few tools to help you design your perfect infusion space, like the Care Kit by Apellus, which provides you your choice of blanket, a neck pillow, and more. If you didn't receive a care kit by a pellis, then you can use your own comfortable pillow or blanket to help you relax during your self-infusion. No one person is the same, which means no one person will experience self-infusion in the same way. Embrace your uniqueness and make your infusion space yours in whatever way will make you feel most at peace. Embavelli, Pegsetta Copeland, is a prescription medicine used to treat adults with a disease called paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, PNH. Empavelli can lower the ability of your immune system to fight infections. It may increase your chance of getting serious and life-threatening meningococcal infections, and serious infections caused by certain bacteria, such as Streptococcus pneumoniae, Neisseria meningitidis, and Haemophilus influenza type B. These infections may quickly become life-threatening and cause death if not recognized and treated early. You must be vaccinated against these bacteria at least two weeks before your first dose of Empavelli if you have not already had these vaccines. If your healthcare provider decides that urgent treatment with Empavelli is needed, you should receive the required vaccinations as soon as possible. And you should also receive two weeks of antibiotics with your vaccinations. If you have been vaccinated against these bacteria in the past, your healthcare provider will decide if you need additional vaccinations before starting Empavelli. Vaccines reduce the risk of serious infections, but do not prevent all serious infections. 
Call your health care provider or get emergency medical care right away if you get any of these signs and symptoms of a serious infection. Fever with or without shivers or the chills, fever and a rash, shortness of breath, extreme pain or discomfort, headache with nausea or vomiting, high heart rate, headache and a fever, headache with a stiff neck or stiff back, confusion, muscle aches with flu-like symptoms, clammy skin, eyes sensitive to light. Your healthcare provider will give you a patient safety card about the risk of serious infections. Carry it with you at all times during treatment and for two months after your last Empivelli dose. It is important to show this card to any healthcare provider to help them diagnose and treat you quickly. Empivelli is only available through a program called the Empivelli Risk Evaluation and Mitigation Strategy, REMS. Before you can take Empivelli, your healthcare provider must counsel you about the risk of serious infections caused by certain bacteria, give you information about the symptoms of serious infections, give you a patient safety card about your risk of serious infections, and make sure that you are vaccinated. Do not take Empivelli if you are allergic to pegcetacoplan or any of the ingredients in Empivelli have not been vaccinated against streptococcus pneumoniae, Neisseria meningitidis, and Haemophilus influenza type B, unless your healthcare provider decides that urgent treatment with Empivelli is needed, have a serious infection caused by the previously mentioned bacteria. Before starting Empivelli, tell your healthcare provider if you have an infection or fever, are pregnant or plan to become pregnant. Empivelli may harm your unborn baby Females who are able to become pregnant should have a pregnancy test before starting treatment and use an effective method of birth control during treatment with Empivelli and for 40 days after the last dose. Are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed? You should not breastfeed during treatment with Empivelli and for 40 days after the last dose. Tell your healthcare provider about all the vaccines you receive and medicines you take, including prescription and over-the-counter medicines, vitamins, and herbal supplements, which could affect your treatment. If you stop taking Empivelli, your healthcare provider will need to monitor you closely for at least eight weeks after stopping Empivelli. Stopping treatment with Empivelli may cause a breakdown of red blood cells due to PNH. Allergic reactions can happen during your Empivelli infusion. Stop your Empivelli infusion and tell your healthcare provider or get emergency medical care right away if you get any of these symptoms during your Empivelli infusion. Chest pain, trouble breathing or shortness of breath, swelling of your face, tongue, or throat, feeling faint, or pass out. The most common side effects of Empivelli are injection site reactions, infections, diarrhea, pain in the stomach, abdomen, respiratory tract infection, pain in the arms, hands, legs, or feet, low potassium in blood, tiredness, viral infection, cough, joint pain, dizziness, headache, and rash. These are not all of the possible side effects of Empivelli. Be sure to tell your healthcare provider about any side effect that bothers you or that does not go away. For more information, ask your healthcare provider. Talk to your doctor for information on Empivelli. Please see important safety information, including boxed warning regarding risk of serious infections and the full prescribing information and medication guide at empivelli.com. As always, be sure to check out the other HSH TV episodes. Talk to you soon.